Okay, so I'm Jerry Nielsen, and I um, grew up in, yeah, northwestern Wisconsin, in the, kind of the glaciated country. Uh, lots of lakes and hills, and uh, I taught soil science here and taught here for 40 years. And you know, I personally can't think of any treasure in this state that's any more valuable and significant than the soil itself. Scobie occupies nearly a million acres. So envision a million football fields. That's roughly the amount of territory that is occupied by Scobie. The newest state symbol of Montana, officially designated by the legislature in this uh, 2015 legislature, Scobie has been seen by literally millions of people. It was displayed in the Smithsonian for several years, as well as uh, displayed in the International World Museum. And then, and there's been a traveling exhibit going around to other museums. Then. So Scobie was well known. It wasn't hard to decide which of the 1,300 soils would be the one we'd want to have as state soil. It was just obviously to be Scobie. This year, the right cast of characters came together and and it happened and it's kind of made my day, if not my, well, a good piece of my life. It was just wonderful because I had been a little ashamed <clears throat> because my job was to teach people about soils. And yet here in Montana, in an agricultural type state, we didn't have a state soil. 21 other states did have state soils. We didn't. The elementary school, Longfellow School, some fourth grade teachers there that said they want to teach students to solve problems. They did a lot of things. They formed a uh, group of soil scouts, they called them, and they met weekly. They had websites, they wrote letters. Without them, it wouldn't have happened. And I recall working with some of these soil scouts out in the field, and a little girl named Ursula comes walking up to me afterwards and gives me a big hug and says, thank you so much. She says, how would it be if Maybe this summer you could come over to my house and we could dig a hole in the backyard and we could look at the soil. Yes, that's it. <laughs> you know, just a handful of soil has more individuals than there are people on earth in one handful of soil. And to understand that, I think, is a good idea. Uh, we don't understand it very. Right? We're studying outer space, but we're kind of forgetting about inner space and I uh, encourage people to look under their feet to see what we can learn, what undiscovered treasures we still have around us in the soil.